a very good morning to all my dear students welcome to your science class so today we are going to begin a new chapter that is importance of water i know that you all must be very much acquainted with this term water because we need water in almost every activity we perform whole day so in this module we are going to learn importance of water and dependence of living things on water that how we are dependent on water how water plays an irreplaceable role in our life droughts and floods as water is very much important for our survival its access may be hazardous and its scarcity may also be hazardous so we are going to put light on these topics or as well in this module so starting up with the chapter as you can see we have several uses of water from the morning itself when we brush our teeth we start using water and then for washing hands for drinking we require two uh, two to four liters of water and we for bathing for cooking for watering plants for washing clothes for washing utensils for so many purposes we need water so students we know that uh, water is a natural resource as you know that 75% of the earth's surface is covered by water only 25% is land and then so among the 75% of water 2% is present as solid water and in the solid form and that is ice and 98% of the water uh, among 98% water 97.7% is saline salty water that is sea water which we cannot consume and 0.6% is the only remained water among the whole percentage which we can use among 0.6% of fresh water 1.98 is uh, is in the form of ice cliffs and glaciers that is it is freezed we cannot use it and 0.61 is as a ground water and 0.01 as the available for consumption so students as you can see that the need for the water is too much that we require water for all water in almost every activity of our life and as we know that the population is increasing at a very rapid rate and as the population is increasing the requirement for the water will also increase so in this way the requirement for the water will also increase and hence as water is a natural resource then to it we may face the scarcity of it its cycle may be disturbed as you as you have studied the water cycle in chapter number 6 as water cycle plays the major role in ma maintaining and balancing the uh, balancing the live uh, the consumption and the usage of water so it may get disturbed if we not use water in a judicious way so students as i have told you that uh, in the form of glaciers ice caps the water is found in freezed form so you can see that glacier is slowly moving mass of ice formed by accumulation of snow on mountains or near the poles or near the south and the near uh, uh, north poles we find glaciers and students uh, it is permanent covering of ice a large area especially around the north and south poles so students as you can see the glaciers are found on the mountains and the ice caps are found in north and south poles that the water is found in the freezed form and we cannot use for the activities all right so students now we are proceeding further with the importance of water in human being as we as you have just heard that i said we need to drink 3 to 4 or 2 to 4 liters of water daily because students in our daily metabolic activities which undergoes in our body we require water as you know the digestion of food in stomach take place with the help of water as 
blood is the transporting agent in our body so blood consisting of water and blood cells absorb digested food and also helps in transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the body as the major constituent of the blood is water so it is uh, it is performing the function of transportation of nutrition in our body it is also helping in the digestion of food water helps in excretion as well as you know when uh, we go for toilet and uh, urine we uh, you, uh, urine uh, in the form of urine the impurities from our b body is excreted and water also and uh, in the form of sweat as well well water also maintains the body temperature in summer as we know that in summer we sweat a lot and which has a cooling effect sometimes it's, it's it also happens with us no in summers what you used to do we used to uh, go uh, at the tap and we open the tap and we splash the water on our face and then we feel cool so in the same way itself it also maintains the temperature of the body so students as you can see that how much water is being going in the body and how much it is being used and excreted out so uh, now you can see that two to three liters of drinking water in the body is going through uh, when we drink water and one liter is going through the food and 0.25 liter is manufactured in the human body now students about zero Point five, yani uh, it means five hundred ml to one liter of uh, water is coming out of the body through sweating, and uh, one point five to two liters of water is coming out of the body through urination. That means in the form of urine, and uh, zero point five liters through the exhalation. Exhalation is by the nose when we exhale carbon dioxide, and uh, uh, it also that vapors also comes along with that. So in this way, we are exhaling water. So students, as you know, that so much water is coming out of the body. So consumes consumption of water is very much necessary for our life, for our life, and to be. and to live a healthy life now students we will see importance of water in our plants we have seen that water is very much important for us for so many activities and we have also seen that water is very much important for our human body and it is also very important for the plants as so many uh, uh, so many of its function is incomplete without water as you can see that a large amount of water is needed by plants during photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process of plants of making food and uh, water is the raw material for it so water helps in transportation of minerals among different parts of the plant body as you know that Uh, water as uh, uh, water is being used as the medium of transportation of minerals among the different parts of the body and uh, now water is very important for the germination of seed plant also lose water continuously through their leaves by transpiration as uh, as perspiration that we call sweating uh, is taking place in our body the same way itself transpiration is taking place in the uh, in the plants that the excess water is being removed in the form of water from the plants now students some other uses of water are also there as you know that our land is known as uh, our india our country is known as the land of uh, agriculture so uh, as it is the land of agriculture we need a lot of water for the purpose of irrigation irrigation and uh, here as you can see that uh, water is also being used for the generation of electricity uh, you should know uh, you must Uh, have observed no students that uh, for if two to three hours electricity is not there at your home, you will feel so much exhausted that oh no, how can we on the AC? How can we uh, use uh, laptops uh, if it is discharged? How we can charge the mobile phones? How uh, how will I see the news on the television? So we we are so much dependent on the electricity that nowadays electricity. Is is also being used as the means of uh, as the scooters or by uh, scooters are coming uh, scooters are coming which we can charge elect 
uh, of batteries they are coming we can charge them and we can use it so students for the generation of electricity water is required and we need a continuous supply of electricity for our survival to uh, so students uh, water is very much important and uh, water is also used as fire extinguisher and uh, in kashmir so many people lives in the houseboats as uh, you can see in this picture that in kashmir so many people used to live in these houseboats so it is also being used as a habit habitat for so many and now students i would like to tell you one thing more that plants like hydrilla and lotus and so many aquatic animals like as you can say uh, so many aquatic animals i'll give you the examples of some of them that fishes whales dolphins that uh, water is acting as the habit to them so it is it plays a major role as a habitat as well so students as you can see that water is also being used as a means of transportation as you know that airways has some limitations of uh, weight in it so we cannot transport heavier goods from one place to another that is from one country to another so uh, heavy goods are being transported uh, in the ships through the medium of water so students so many recreating activities like water rafting and boating and water skiing we can do in the water so students now we are at the point where we will begin with the sources of water as the water is very much important to us so we should also know that where does the water comes from the sources of water are rain water as you have also studied in the water cycle that uh, rain water is the uh, very much important source of replen replenishing the water and uh, surface water as surface water is ocean water sea water lake water and uh, spring water spring is the uh, when uh, stream of water is coming from the uh, hole or any uh, area uh, of water is coming out of it so it will be termed as spring so students and ground water is also there A well Uh, well is an example of ground water well is the pool of water that is obtained by digging the soil till its impervious layer and impervious layer is the layer that does not allow liquid or gas to pass through it is called impervious layers so uh, under the ground a uh, a uh, uh, pit is being uh, dug and usko hum ek gaddha khodte hain till its impervious layer impervious layer tak jab hum tak hum nahi pahunch jate and impervious layer is that layer jiske baad aapka jo liquid hota hai wo aur niche nahi niche aapka pass nahi ho sakta so students uh, well is an example from where we get the underground water and we can also get underground water from hand pumps and tube wells so students these are the three main sources of water from where we get the supply of water now students as you know that water is very much important for all of us but it's so but as the population is increasing at a very rapid rate and the modification is taking place and in the modern lifestyle we need a lot of water for so many activities so students as we know that we are so much dependent on the electricity so the consumption of water in that so the usage of the water has increased very very much and we are not using in water in a sustainable way and through that the uh, the at the at atmosphere is changing and uh, the water cycle that is uh, is being disturbed so we may also face water scarcity scarcity is the uh, scarcity is uh, we may uh, face the shortage of water so students as you can see in this picture that uh, in villages there is a lot of queue for getting the water as you can see here they these ladies are waiting for uh, waiting in the long queues for getting the water and here you can see as uh, the dra drought drought is scarcity of water if for one year or more than one year if uh, rainfall is not in an area uh, as you can see that in india the uh, the division of the rainfall is not even at some places 
the it rains only for few days and it, in some of the places it rains so much so at the places where the rainfall is very less so if uh, for one or two more than uh, two years rainfall will not be there so this may happen as you can see that the land has cracked up and here this soil uh, is will not remain fertile anymore so as you can uh, you can get the uh, get to know that if the soil will be like this so we will not have any crop we will not have any food so ultimately you, you can see that uh, water uh, animals also required for water to drink and uh, see how the uh, animal is dead over here and the these girls are very much and thirsty and you can see that how they are facing the problems so drought refers to a period a year or more in which there is an unusual scarcity of rain if no rainfall for a long period it leads to serious hydrological imbalance so students hydrological imbalance is that in water cycle is termed as the imbalance in the water cycle is termed as hydrological balance where the hydro hydro you means what we refer to that water so the imbalance in that is termed as hydrological imbalance so jab bahut ek saal ya do saal tak aapka rainfall ek place pe nahi hota to wahan pe us condition ko hum drought bolte hain and students so many as the acute water crisis can have so many problems so i am going to tell you these problems the soil dries up as you can see in the picture completely becomes hard and big to crack and gradually becomes infertile as i have already told you the water table see students the water present under the wa under the ground is termed as underground water and its level is termed as water table so students of water table in drought affected areas goes down underground water becomes scarce and what happens now if the rainfall will not be there then the land will is will not be able to seep the water as jaise ki aapko pata hoga aapne chapter 6 mein bhi padha hoga students that jab rainfall hoti hai and the places jahan pe aapka mud ho jahan pe aapki सॉयल होती है वहां पे वाटर क्या करता है वो सॉइल सीप कर लेता है अपने अंदर एंड उससे हमारा जो अंडरग्राउंड वाटर होता है वो रिफिल होता है अब स्टूडेंट्स आप देख सकते हैं जब रेनफॉल टू से वन से टू इयर्स नहीं होगी तो क्या होगा जो अंडरग्राउंड वाटर है हमारा उसका वाटर लेवल क्या होगा डिक्रीज हो जाएगा सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज ऑल्सो अ बैड इफेक्ट ऑफ द ड्राउट द वाटर लेवल इन द वेल्स एंड पॉन्स एक्सेट्रा इन द ड्राउट अफेक्टेड एरियाज ऑल्सो गोज डाउन एंड some of them may even dry up and the aquatic life is completely lost as you know students that so many organisms are uh, are there in the water which are we terms as aquatic animals or aquatic plants and if that uh, area dries up no water will be there then they will ultimately die so uh, there will be a lo great loss due to unfertile soil and scarcity of water gradually the whole vegetation of drought affected area is lost during drought farmers who depend on agriculture for their livelihood are most badly affected they suffer loss of crops that is their source of income and students ultimately if the soil is infertile the farmer will be left hungry and he will face a lot of difficulties he will not be able to pay the debts he is in and students that will even may cause so many problems drought leads to shortage of food increase in poverty as you know that the if the production of the food will not be more so the uh, so its rate will automatically increase and hence book poverty will also increase reduced health and poor quality of life many humans as well as animals die of dehydration you can see in this picture that the animal got dehydrated and ultimately die absence of rain for a long period of time disturbs the water cycle which results in further loss of rain as you know students that if the water will not be there then the naturally the evaporation will not take place and hence 
you have studied water cycle in chapter number 6 that is thunder and lightning so or if the balance will be disturbed so there will be no chance of repl- replenish replenishing the water and we know that we cannot survive without water so water so it is very much necessary to use water judiciously now students floods what are floods when there is a heavy and continuous rain and the soil and vegetation cannot absorb all water then the water runs off the land it cannot be carried in the river channels or retained in natural lakes or ponds reservoirs and dams the water then may spread over a large area this condition is called as flood so students kya hota hai jab hamara jo aapka water hota hai jab wo access ho jata hai continuous rainfall se and hamari jo water bodies hoti hai fresh water bodies wo usko usme retain nahi rakh sakti to wo large area of land mein kya hota hai spread ho jata hai and we face floods so students rapidly running water washes away the top layer of the soil it leads to <coughs> soil erosion and sedimentation deposition shin problem downstream when the water will run down it will take all the top soil along with that and the problem of sedimentation deposit deposition will be phased downstream so students if water rushes into the fields and go down it destroy the crop and stored food material so there will be a great loss as you can see in the picture students that um as you can see in this picture students water is a, as a disaster here you can see that how they are facing how they are facing the problems and you know see that how they are sitting on the roof of their houses how the transportation system has stopped and you can see that how this man is just waiting for the rainfall so students we were discussing about that uh, how floods are causing problem to us then ultimately the stored where the f- f- uh, stored food will be there water will be filled there and it, it will all get destroyed and it leads to acute shortage of food clean drinking water heavy rains and sudden rush of water carry away human beings their houses their belongings and domestic animals and cause death by droning students aap dekh rahe hain kaise doob jate hain animals and people and their houses abhi kerala mein humne dekha tha and students after the heavy rains there are increased chances of the outbreak of epidemics like various infections diseases diarrhea because the water will left stagnant for some days and there in that the uh, so many epidemics and various kinds of infections may take birth many aquatic animals are being carried away by strong water currents and are deprived of their habitat floods for a long period of time delay traffic disturb the drainage system and often impair the hydroelectric power collapse of houses as you can see students here that collapse of houses buildings bridges banks and so many financial losses will be faced if floods are there so you can see that water is so much important to us till we, here we have seen that it is very much important it is irreplaceable it has so many major roles in our life but it's def its scarcity and its access both are hazardous to us so students as you know that water is very much important to us so we should use it judiciously and we should also conserve it we should put some measures measures we should take steps ahead by that we can replenish the water we by that we can replenish the ground water or we can replenish the or we can maintain the uh, level of the water okay so students hamara water cycle jisse na bigde hai na hame aise steps lene chahiye so students among that rain water harvesting is one of them and it is the very important uh, a very important process through which we can conserve water see as you can uh, by the name itself rain water harvesting so students what what uh, is the process uh, there no at the roof of the houses water is being collected the rain water is being collected and the uh, pipes are there and they are connected to the storage tank and through which we can use this water by the pipes in our in our home we get the supply through it by after filtration we can use this water for the toilet purposes other purposes and we can also just send the water back to the ground level and hence we can replenish the uh, replenish 
the loss of water as you can see that the water table water table is the level of the underground water is being decreasing as the uh, consumption is increasing very much so students water conservation is a very important step by which we can conserve the water and students we should also use water in a judicious way we should not waste it we should not leave the taps open and uh, we should not uh, leave the uh, leakage like that only all right students so rain water from the road sides goes directly into the ground ground into the pits stretches dug wells recharge wells recharge shafts etc so in this way we can replenish the water so students as you as i have told you you can see it over here it directly goes into the underground water so quickly we will revise the a few important definitions ground water the water collected under the ground and water table i have already told you the level of water under the ground and well water the pool of water that is obtained by digging the soil till its impervious layer i have already explained what impervious layer means that after impervious layer the water cannot pass through it spring water the water which comes out with pressure in the form of spring from any opening in the earth drought a period a year or more in which there is unusual scarcity of rain flood accumulation of water due to heavy and continuous rain over a long period of time so a quick revision a quick rebound of the uh, round up of the chapter water is an essential for all human beings you must have uh, i have already told you just a few minutes before that how important actually how important water is to us the major sources of water are rain water surface water and ground water both deficiency and access of rainfall can be disastrous as you can have seen that the deficiency is the drought and uh, the access of water are the floods and bo by both we face a lot of difficulties water we may also it is fatal we may also uh, just sacrifice our lives also and so many animals so many aquatic life is being uh, is being resulted as as a in death now students water is a precious resource which should be carefully and judiciously used one of the method of conserving water is to collect rain water and store it for later use this is called rain water harvesting thank you for listening students i hope the water importance of water chapter is understood to all of you thank you for listening